Um, but yeah, it's it's I think Audrin, it's when you're like in midair across the chasm holding Anna that you see the thing suddenly tense up and like shift kind of like uncomfortably. It, it's obviously wake woken up. And you think like, well, it didn't hear me. We weren't being loud. And then suddenly it just vomits out a dude. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Seth, would you like to describe what this person looks like? Well, now I'm not sure what they look like because this is a very different way of being introduced than I thought uh -huh. they would be. So real quick, real quick, Seth, I'll, I'll message you what I'm thinking here, right? Okay, wait, send me what, send me what happened because mm -hmm, I'm confused. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. He got consumed by the worm. I'm pretty sure. Obvious. That's... Well, I, oh, actually, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what um. Uh, <gasps> well, because here's the thing. I told you what I wanted to come looking like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you weren't expecting this to happen, so you can. Yeah. You guys don't see a dude flying through. You see what looks like. Uh, uh, an adult sized version of Delhi in very different clothes and not her like typical get up. Madoc, that wasn't funny. And he looks up and looks around like, Oh, he hello. And it all of you can see and hear this. Um, but that's, uh, I was gonna say, that's when you, <laughs> the worm is obviously like, Oh, I need to eat this thing. Ah! <laughs> and uh, let's have everybody roll initiative. <laughs> oh, God. And, at that, uh, and at that point, it probably yeah. drops the guys, drops the guys, and goes, Oh, screw this. <laughs> and then do um, we see what, what you actually look like? Yeah. So I want to pull up the token. Oops. Mm hmm. So wait, we see uh, a guy try to pretend to be Delhi, and then he and then no, no, he, looks he shape like Deli. shifts out of being Delhi for some reason. Yeah, he's he's all just out of out of character. He's a changeling. Um, well, yeah, okay, I figured that. He appears, but... he appears though it looks like on the right. Yeah, so like the white eye and stuff is probably like as he's transforming, he suddenly like his eyes start like becoming normal as he goes kind of transitions from Delhi to this kind of like uh, thirty old man. Oh, um, what, what is he actually wearing? Brent? He's wearing like fancy looking clothes. So where exactly am I? Like, am I actually right here? You're literally right in front of the thing on the floor of the cavern. That's yeah. not good. Mm -hmm. That's very bad. Yep. Caleb, I know you are you like trying to speed run Seth, killing one of my characters. I, I, well, that's exactly kind of what I was going to say. <laughs> just, you know, just see if we can do it. Caleb, you know really what? Though? Us to fight this thing. No, I just really wanted Vren to be vomited out from it because I thought it would be hilarious. <laughs> it's Vren Royery, by the way. It's an anagram for very ornery. All right, Lyrith uh, no. is going first. You, you can oh, try that charm monster if you want. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're not in combat with it yet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah she's going to try to charm the monster. She's just going to be like, huh, huh, just stop. <laughs> it's okay. We're good. It's all good. Don't worry. We're fine. Stop in the name of love. To charm it. Um, All right. Wisdom oh. save. Uh huh. I'm guessing it, hopefully, it's not very wise. <gasps> it is. It fails. Yeah, it fails. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Into combat. Oh, nice. <laughs> Charm for an hour. <laughs> One hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it kind of quirks its head, turns to Lyrith. <gasps> it's okay. Easy. Well, I guess you can, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you, you just see him standing there below, like, uh, uh, he's like, look. Uh. He sits there, wipes himself off, and um, pulls. Yeah, there's like giant in. like globs of like acidic yeah. mucus that are just like. Ugh. He's gonna reach it. He's gonna reach into his bag, pull out a a br pull a broom out of his bag, and fly up to the top where everyone else is. Says, "Well, that didn't go quite as I expected." Um. All right, which one of you is Audrin? Uh, take me. I mean, I don't know. Take me's going to take very kindly. She's very on edge right now. Understandably I so. I feel like she's going to like go up to him and be like, "Who are you, and why were you trying to impersonate Delhi?" I'm getting to that, but first I need to know who Audrin Tell is. Tell me where she is. <laughs> he's gonna. She's gonna look to like. He's gonna look to the other guys. Anyone? Audrin. Audrin. <laughs> Audrin, do you answer Jordan, a, a, Audrin, or are you just like what? Who? Huh? <laughs> Let my girlfriend handle this. I just think, it's, I just think it's, it would be funny if Audrin's like, yeah, she's Audrin. <laughs> uh, actually, no. It's like, 
Yeah. He's like, well, uh, well he knows Aldrin's a half elf, so he's going to look at her like, I'm guessing it's you. He's going to reach in his reach in his clothes, pull out a slimy piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I have to read this now. I, the one currently known as Vren Royery, hereby submit myself to the service of the half-elf Audrin, leader of Audrin's angels. I swear to follow his orders and not deviate from them until the situation involving Deltheria Boskel, daughter of Alison Boskel, captain of the Crimson Fleet, has been resolved. I swear to neither harm nor injure members of the aforementioned Audrin's Angels, including, but not limited to, Takeaway Fire Genasi. And I have some things written down, but I actually don't know. Remember, I have insert the actual things that you are because I can't remember. Uh, Mem- member, member of the of blank cult- tribe. Is member that of the blank tribe, Anna, human, member of so and so temple, and the aforementioned Deltheria Boskol, except for in the case it is deemed necessary for her safe return or capture. On violation of this oath, I accept the runes that have been applied to my flesh may activate, disrupting any spell or disguise I may have active. This shall be so until the aforementioned Deltheria Bosco has been freed from her imprisonment, as confirmed by Madoc, Lord of Chaos, or in such, or if such freedom is deemed hazardous to the sake of Thray and those who preside in it until such threat has been eliminated. Uh, furthermore, I submit to further updates to this contract as deemed necessary. And he slams it closed. <laughs> Chaos mages. Leave it to a group of people who know every loophole to write a contract without one. <laughs> okay, that answers 75% of my questions. But I still have questions. Proceed. Can we not have this thing looming over us though please <laughs> yes i would prefer yeah. that Lyric, too. like pipes up <laughs> it kind of it kind of looks down like a puppy like, oh. like oh. and he looks I'm like oh, yes can we please get out of here yeah i think lyrith probably looks over to it and says uh go somewhere else and then the thing just like burrows into the ground and starts going away 